Hello boys and girls, welcome back to another Subaru video. Now this time I decided to get a vacuum actuated exhaust valve cutout. By the way, is the camera still flickering? No more fluorescent lights. It's all LED now. Still not done. Here are the old lamps. Still in the process of installing some more. This one still needs to be connected. So this is a dark area right now. There's gonna be more. I got three more I need to mount. Two more here on the ceiling and check this out. Bam! And one more there. Anyways, I did install an exhaust cutout in the pipe a while back or when the car was apart. I had the exhaust out anyways. So this is what I'm talking about. We are a little bit back from the middle of the car. So as you can see, this is the cutout. I simply, this, this is three inches, I simply cut my exhaust and I installed the cutout in between here with clamps. No welding was involved and I was planning to just, you know, whenever I'm on the track, raise the car up a bit, remove these three nuts and bolts, install this piece here, just to point the exhausts out so it would look something like this. Okay, but then I figured, okay, that's going to be a quite some work. What if I have something else to do at the track or whatever in between sessions? You know, I decide to close it, open it, whatever. So decided to get a vacuum actuated valve, which is this guy here, also three inches. And the way this works, you simply connect vacuum to here. The other end you can connect to your intake manifold, whatever there is vacuum, whatever you have an opening in your in your intake manifold. And then it would open as soon as you give it throttle. Some, uh, I think it works from between minus five and minus two or something like that. So, you know, not much is needed. This actually works. It closes up pretty tight, as you can probably tell. But I don't want it to open when uh, the turbo engages or something like that. I want it to have it on a button. Okay, obviously this is going to be loud, so I don't want it to turn on when I'm driving in the city or whatever. So I need to connect this part to a switch, which is going to be run or turned on by vacuum. So the switch is going to be fed vacuum all the time. And whenever I'm ready, I just flip it on and the switch will provide vacuum to this valve. So the plan is to get it, can't put it right against it. It's going to be too low. It's going to be too close to the floor. So my plan is to either get it somewhere here in this area. So the valve is kind of tucked away up up and away like that, something like that. So I would have to make a turn or get a straight pipe from the cutout to here and end up somewhere over here. But that's gonna be, that might be in the way unless I turn it like that. But then I don't, I don't like this hose being too close to the right side there, whatever that is there, the cover. So the plan is to end up somewhere here and obviously the tip well maybe, maybe actually maybe as close to the side of side floor here with the valve and the tip right here so it's as far as possible from the gas tank over here so something like this as high as possible and as far as possible from the fuel tank so first what I need to do is get a flange a pipe with a an angle about 45 degrees or so make a connection obviously i'm going to weld it 
if it's not going to be like this, it's going to be hard to find a piece like this with the angle that I need. So I'm going to weld it, weld the pipe to the flange. It's going to come out somewhere here. And then I'm going to have to, I got no other choice. That pipe coming out, it's going to get welded to the valve. Hopefully it will not hit. The butterfly will not hit the inside of the pipe. I'm going to have to make sure of that. This may be actually a bit smaller than three inches. I don't, I'm, I'm not sure. So the way this needs to be done is I got two options. I can either weld two flanges to the valve on both sides and then get another flange and weld the, the new pipe to that flange on both sides. Or I can just weld the pipes directly to the valve and call it a day. But I have to make sure if I'm going to weld the pipe I'm going to have to make sure it doesn't, the butterfly does not hit the inside of the pipe. Because as you can see, as, as, you, as this butterfly opens, it sticks out a bit. Well, now that I look at it, it should be fine. Okay, so yeah, so there's, yeah, so the chances of this butterfly hitting the pipe inside are slim. So I need to go shopping for some pipes. All right, this is what we got. So this is the plate that I took off, okay, with a gasket. First, this fancy pipe is going to get welded to the flange, like so. This is the flange out of this, by the way. So that's going to be removable. The whole thing is going to be removable. This pipe I'm going to cut somewhere here to straighten out the angle. Once this is cut, the valve is going to get welded to the pipe right about like this. And then this piece is going to get welded on the other side of the valve. Now the fuel tank is about right here. So that's obviously going to point away from the fuel tank. All right, I was going to weld flanges on both sides of the valve, but that's probably too excessive. So the flange will end up here and the whole thing is going to be removable. That's the plan. In case something happens, whatever, then I can just put this plate back on on the original cut out spots. Okay, after some professional measuring and drawing, I came up with this. I got lines here and on the pipe that's going to get welded here. Let's do some cleaning, cutting and welding.
And that's it for this one. I had to break this down into three different parts. Couldn't bore you for too long. So the cutout is going to get paint, high temperature paint in the next one. And then I'm going to explain, then we're going to hear it, hear the car run actually. Um, open exhaust and closed cutout, open cutout and then muffler. And then I'm going to explain shortly why I did a street tune and not a dyno tune. So please subscribe if you haven't done so. And I'll see you soon.